So being president of Acorn and J.R. Smith, I am filled with an immense amount of pride. You know, we started from nothing with my grandfather and my dad's built it to where it is today. And I wanna be known for our ability to be able to be flexible. A lot of our decisions that we've been making up to this date have been decisions that allow us to be flexible. Um, and this is uh, really talking from the Acorn point of view, okay? So uh, we've bought machines, we've, we've uh, created processes that allow us to be able to do it one way and then quickly do it another way. Um, those things we've found have been really instrumental in our success because we can bend and move and dodge and weave fast. And uh, it shows. We've been able to bring products out faster than anybody with uh, a moment's notice. And our ability to um, prototype things and get things off the ground and start testing is really fast because we control all those processes and we've invested in the flexible machinery. It's not easy. Doing the same thing over and over again is easy. Doing stuff differently but having consistency and a consistent outcome, that's hard. That's where we like to invest. That's where we like to pride ourselves. So that's on the Acorn side. And then we have the J.R. Smith side and, and they're all about being able to uh, continue to shave minutes off their ability to deliver products. So um, the more we can take time off to be able to get the product to you, um, the better it is for not only the rep agency that carries our product, but also the customer that needs it last minute. Don't you forget that J.R. Smith, when you're making a building, we have and make a lot of drains. There's a lot of different products that, that Smith makes, but they're the first thing to go on the ground. And there's nothing like the sweat pouring down your forehead when you have a cement truck lined up behind you and you have this slab that you have to pour and you don't have your drains, you don't have your fittings, you don't have your, you don't have the things that you need to be in place to be able to put that concrete slab down. That is the sort of pressure we're dealing with with the Smith side. And they have done a fantastic job to be able to work under pressure and continue to be the best in the uh, fulfilling the product out there in the field. So that cement truck, when it's coming, you don't have to worry about it with J.R. Smith. You know we've got your back. You know, when it comes down to it, what really does set us apart is a lot of people are really far removed from the sales channel. And even though I really probably have most strongly operations at heart, I also uh, cut my teeth in the sales channel as well. I was a rep for several years, really understood, you know, the barriers you have to overcome with the people that you're selling to, the barriers you have to overcome with the marketplace, um, the things that you need to do to be able to help facilitate the sales. And our rep agencies are really our ear to the ground as to things that are changing, uh, industry trends, where overall markets are going. So that allows us to be able to quickly react and um, try to design things that are uh, timely and relevant to, um, to our industry. We really try to take the things that exist and uh, make them better, really try to figure out what makes people tick. And there's a lot of varieties of customers we sell to. So what might make an architect tick, something that looks cool, looks unique on the wall, isn't necessarily the same thing as that makes a contractor tick. You know, a contractor is looking for something that's easy to install, um, something that uh, might save them labor when they're trying to install it. And then there's the owner. What does the owner want? The owner wants something that's going to last a long time, that's easy to maintain. So it really depends on your audience. And the perfect product is something that can hit all of those buttons, something that works for all of the people in the supply chain and they really get motivated by the things that resonate with them. So I love seeing these ideas brought to the ground. You know, how do we realize these ideas? How do we, how do we go down all the different things that we need to do to make this thing a reality? And um, that's what motivates me and that's where I think uh, Dad and I work really well together is because of that. I'll try to kind of um, work with him lockstep as to where he's going, where his thought process is, I need to fill in the blanks and figure out where he's moving, generally what direction he's going, and try to make sure that whatever we're doing at the company is also moving in the same direction. And I think we've done a great job at that.